Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe. I'm here today to play some Sultai Blue Black Green Elementals, playing some Risen Reef. Uh, this is actually the third time I'm trying to record this video. My computer's crashed twice towards the end of the videos, uh, which has been incredibly annoying, as you can imagine. I've lost about two hours worth of video content. Um, some really good games, too, that have been missed out on. Um, so the deck itself is a Sultai Command the Dreadhorde deck, so we're looking to bring stuff back from our graveyard. Um, we're playing off the powerful Explore package to gain a bunch of life. Wild Growth Elemental gain is also an Elemental. Sorry, Wild Growth Walker. Uh, so it triggers Risen Reef. So tons of card advantage in this deck. You have Leafkin Druid, which also can work nicely with uh, the Risen Reef. Uh, we have Hydra Crisis to refill our hand. Hostage Taker is removal. Um, it's not unusual to draw your entire deck, so I'm playing one Jace. Vraska is a catch-all removal. Some Tamios to self-mill. And then I have the two Cavaliers, Cavalier of the Gales, which brainstorms when it enters. Draw three, put two back, and then when it dies, it shuffles in. And then Cavalier of the Thorns uh, puts lines into play. Seems pretty good overall. Yark double triggers our enter the battlefield effects. Um, I'm actually considering dropping Vraska now and dropping one of these and putting two Ravenous. I played the mirror before the computer crashed, and Ravenous was the mirror breaker. Um, so there's that. Uh, sideboard, we have Duress versus Control, Healer versus Aggro, Cast Down, Elder Spell, Assassin's Trophy is Removal Package, Brontodon versus Nexus, Vraska's Contempt versus Planeswalkers, and Massacre Girl as a Sweeper. So we'll run it through. Apologize, it's not as detailed. This is the third time I've done this deck tech. Um, so we'll run it through traditional ranked. Uh, so as we get started, a quick favor to ask. Um, if you haven't done so already, if you can hit that subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner. It's a free and easy way to support the channel. I'm trying to get to the channel to the point where we can monetize the videos from Google. Um, so it would help a lot if you could do so. Um, be very appreciative. Uh, so getting started, we'll keep this hand. Uh, we got Risen Reef. We can scry away lands. Um, here don't think we want the wild growth right now. We don't really have any of the explore stuff in. I'll just play out the druid here. Um, so here, so they cast down that, that's actually fine. Okay, so that gives us a couple, we could Jade Light next turn, play a tap land. Okay, so we're in the mirror again, there are playing cast down main. Ooh, hostage taker is perfect. I will take that. They've already burnt a removal spell. So they will get another ETB if they do, but if not, we'll take advantage of that. Okay, so they have Wild Growth. So they've got the Explore going. Gain some life that way. So here I will gladly take your Risen Reef. Doing that now in case they have drawn to. Ooh, perfect. We got the removal spell here. Um, I'm going to shock in. Play a Jade Light. Okay, we draw another land. No attacks here. And next turn, I'm going to drop down a Cavalier, and then we can start attacking in the skies. There's not much in the graveyards right now, so the command's not really that useful. So we're ahead on mana, where I feel like Risen Reef's a little bit more effective right now, just in terms of getting us card advantage. It's a grindy matchup. OK, 
Okay, so they kill ours. And they get another Risen Reef. We won't be able to play a second spell, so let's scry first. Okay, I'll keep the Risen Reef on top. Okay, so I want to set it up so we can get a land. So Hinterland Harbor and Jace. Want Jace on top. Actually, doesn't. Uh, you know what? We don't have a. Oh no, we do have Risen Reef next turn. I was going to say we don't have an elemental to trigger it, but we do. But we do. Okay, so they have their Cavalier. The Black Cavalier might be right. We didn't play it in ours. So they're going to blow up our Cavalier. It does shuffle our library as well. Um, do I want the land? So I can... I don't know if we want the lands now. Let's try to get more action. So they gain some more life. Okay, so are they gonna keep they do keep it on top? Um let's do this. True Jace again. Uh, so here I'm going to command. There'll be a mini command, but. So that's four damage, eight, 11, 2 do that, 11. Okay, so opponent concedes. A lot of times, the first one to Jade Light or to Command wins. Um, so in this matchup, the cast downs will be good. Assassin's Trophy, Vraska's Contempt. Um, Jace probably isn't as good. Cavalier of Thorns, probably not. I don't like Yarrick necessarily in this matchup because we can mill ourselves out. Um, two cards to cut. I like everything. <laughs> this is the hard part. I'll probably just go a bit slower. It's going to be grindy. Might be wrong getting rid of the ramp. Keep this hand. Wild growth into Branch Walker. Hopefully go into Tamio. So they have Mulligan. Stack actually Mulligan's well. It's probably the seventh or eighth match I've played with it, and I think I've mulligan once. Okay, so they play the Cavalier as well. No blocks here. 
Let's avoid the cast down. Okay, so Temple of Mystery. Uh, Temple of Malady, do we want that? So it guarantees a second black source for Vraska's Contempt. And Hostage Taker, sure. I'm gonna trade with the Branch Walker here. I think I just keep wanting lands. Or try to dig into a Risen Reef. Just pass the turn here. So they're short. It, oh, opponent just concedes. They were short of blue mana there. So we'll run it back for one more. So what are you folks playing in standard right now? I've been heavily elemental focused, trying to find the optimum Risen Reef deck. Haven't had a chance to play Vampires, looks pretty sweet, still collecting some cards. I'm gonna be doing the next build series on Blue White Flyers. Uh, yeah, keep. Explore, dude, so get us more lands. Mardu Agra. So this could be Aristocrats. So we'll take the trade there. Hopefully they don't have a shock. They have Benalia. Uh, unfortunately, do need to shock myself here. Ah, okay, Wild Growth Walker is great there. No attacks. No blocks here. So the thing is we could block and kill it, but then they kill our Risen Reef, and then I want to get the Wild Growth triggers. They bedevil anyways. Okay, so if we can stay alive long enough. We do have command open. No attacks. We are going to throw it in front of one of them. So just block like that. If you don't deal with this card early, it ruins games on its own. Let's see if they have a follow-up play, a shock or something. Don't understand why you don't do that main face. Um, here... Need to block as much damage as possible. Okay. 
But I think getting Jade Light in the yard would be good. Okay, so this can trade here. Oh, that's bad. So this is more Mardu aggro. So I take the three damage regardless there. So that's seven, nine. Yeah, I think I just have to block like that. Because they have the four damage on me there. So I'm at seven, so I can do six, and then I gain back six life. So it still puts me pretty low, because I can't actually block those. Yeah, I think we, I think we do it just for the blockers this turn. You're no good to me. So next turn, so we're taking four. They have a lightning strike. Oh, uh, no, they got us. Good play by the opponent. Alrighty. Cast downs, Vraska's Content, Massacre Girl, Healers, and Trophy. By Druids. By Jace. By Tamio. Uh, you have Reach. You're actually pretty good. Your X probably too slow. Shave down a command. Just a bunch of removal. Grind them out. Play more Sultai than combo. I think I want to try the next one afterwards. Maybe off stream a bit more just to fine tune. But with Lana War Elf, I think going 1 to 3 is a little bit more relevant. I just I never play out those ramp elementals on 2. I'd rather just play out Wild Growth Walker. This is Mardu Agro Midrange. Opponents thinking it through. We did sideboard fairly quickly there. Playing first also helps here. We'll keep this. J Light should help us find stuff. Or um, Branch Walker. Ooh, duress is good. Land, 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 land. Yup. Yeah. Perfect. Green land. We don't have blue stuff, we, or blue mana, but it's just Krasis's right now. This is a slower start for the opponent. Okay, so we've hit all the mana in the world.
they play Clarion. I just want to get a threat out. There's Benalia here. Man, we are flooding out. Their mana base is pretty good. I don't think I want that. I'm gonna offer the take the trade if they offer. Okay, so they have Dread Horde. And they give it pro. This is such a weird deck that's oddly effective. Pro blue. Are you kidding me? Ay ay ay. That is a lot of lands. Um here. Just take the block. Okay, so we got some troops. You block there. Gain us some life back. Okay, so they attack there. I'll take the block. Um, so here, we'll just gain the life. And just take all those lands. A command would be great here. We are pretty loaded in the bin. Um, just gonna block since Lily's probably gonna down tick. <laughs> this is actually ridiculous. How many lands can I draw?
Okay, so Risen Reef at least gets us something. Hopefully... Command, thank you. Let's go wild. What's our life total at? 19? What's our opponent's graveyard? So let's see what we got. So two, five. Seven, nine, eleven, fifteen. They're going to get it back anyways, the Phoenix, but... I really just want the card draw at this point. Take action to scry, because there's apparently still lands in our deck. We'll take that. Uh, is this Planeswalker as well? Uh, so Lily can't down tick anyways, might just want to try to kill him. Just pop a land into play and say go. So they get their Phoenix back. Sure. They might have a Clarion here. We need a oh, cleansing Nova. Uh, so they do get their Phoenix back. Masker Girl cleans up at least. Draw a bunch of cards. I'm going to keep that on top. It's a clean answer for Liliana at this point. Wonder if they're playing Command the Dread Horde in this. Like you're playing God's Willing in the same deck of your Cleansing Nova. Come on, buddy. Should have a ton of removal in hand. And a war boss, thirty six cards.
Don't got a card draw off this. Just gonna get rid of it. It's not the best play, but it's gonna get him a lot of card advantage. No attacks here. Sorry about that. Chandra. That is a lot of stuff they have. Command the Dread Horde. Command the Dread Horde. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if I can bamboozle them. Okay, so... Seven... Ten... Twelve... Five, seven... Nine, twelve... No! No! Math wasn't good! Oh no, I forgot this trigger stack. <laughs> good game. Alright. Did that not work? Oh, but we're dead on upkeep. Doesn't matter. I guess everything saw each other, stacked, went out. I don't know. They died before they came in. Alright, so that's the deck. That one was a tough one. We fell, kept pretty much gold tier 3. Uh, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to subscribe, and we'll be back with another one shortly. Thanks for watching, and have a great one.